All right, we're on. Lucy Dring, welcome to the podcast. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Uh, first off, congratulations on winning the 50 kick challenge worldwide. I mean, phenomenal kick. I mean, crazy kick. You're you're super good at that. You know that, right? <laughs> thanks. Yeah, it was pretty cool to be a part of. Um, wh when did you first hear about it? Um, well, actually, my coach, Luke Stafford, he told me about it. Um, I'm not sure when it was. I think it was obviously a couple of weeks ago now. But um, yeah. yeah, he came to training one morning and said, oh, you know, there's a kick challenge out. And he said, oh, no way, I better give it a go. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, good stuff. Have you – Have how old are you? Um, I'm 19. 19, okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I hadn't heard of you before this, but, I mean, you're legitimately – a freaky good swimmer, a very good swimmer. Um, what's your, where, where are you at with swimming for you personally? Where was that? Um, well, I would say my best meet has been the Olympic, um, the Australian Olympic trials that we had um, a bit earlier last year. Mm -hmm. um, that, yeah, that was my best meet. Um, I hadn't been training any fly coming up to that meet, but the 200 fly was probably my best race that I did there. So, um, I ended up making two A finals in that one and the 400 medley as well. So it was a really cool experience. So I'd say that one was like my best, uh, best races so far. Yeah. Very cool. Now what, what's your best events? Um, well, since then we, I had some meetings with Luke, my coach, and uh, we decided to focus on the two fly. So I've been doing a lot more fly training now. Um, so we're just waiting for that one to come through and to um, finally, you know, get the ground, hit the ground running with that one. So yeah, two fly and also two free. You've been um, doing a little bit of that too. Very cool. Now you say you're on the Gold Coast, is that right? Um, the Sunshine Coast. Oh, Sunshine Coast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A couple, cool. uh, couple hours away from there. Yeah. How long have you been swimming for now? Oh, I think I um, started competitive swimming when I was around eight or so. I've been swimming my whole life. Yeah. Very cool. Now, is this something that you want to you want to swim for Australia one day? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely um, my goal. Um, I think up um, until um, that Olympic trials, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't really anywhere in swimming. But um, after that, I really um, it made me set some higher goals, I guess. So now I have um, some goals to work towards. Yeah, and definitely an Australian team is um, one that I'd love to be a part of. Awesome. Very cool. Well, I got to tell you. I was over at the ISL over in Eindhoven and um, I was trying to recruit some people walking around the deck to, to do the 50 kick challenge. And one of the, the people there were Emma McKeon. And uh, Emma asked me, you know, what's the number one time in the world right now? And I, I told her, I think the first time you attempted it, you were 33 low. Is that right? Yeah, I think it was somewhere around there. Yeah, yep. somewhere around 33. And you were number one in the world by a fair way. And I told her, I said, uh, Lucy Dring. And, and she was like, who's that? Like, she didn't know who you are. And I'm like, well, she's really fast at kicking. So you're going to get to know her. She's from the, she's from Queensland. So she's a Queensland girl, just like, like her, where she's at right now. So uh, have you had a chance to meet Emma McKeon um, at the Queensland championships? Um, no, I haven't. I haven't met her before, but yeah, I've obviously see her on um, at the Olympics and I see her online and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she posted a time that was faster than you that day. And then you came back and absolutely smacked it how how are you so good at flutter kick with a board <laughs> i'm not sure to be honest i get a lot of questions asking like how do i how do i do it but i don't know um i think it's just important you know like driving the power from the hips rather than the knees i guess and um mm. yeah i'm not sure how i do it it just i don't know it just kick <laughs> it just happens yeah well, we just talked to Luke Miller. He's the he's the guy that won the, the challenge. And you you two both kick very similarly. So I guess the best thing for you is to stay flat. You wear the snorkel. You're, you're extended fully. You're really high in the water. And both of you have really good kind of hip movement, but hip control. Um, you just you can just see it firing. Legs are, are straight and low. You don't um, kick too high out of the water. But um, is kicking something that you do a lot of in practice? Um, definitely leading up to um, the state championships we had last year in December, we did have a lot more of a kick focus just to, you know, um, get the strength in the legs to help you at the back end of a race. Um, so, yeah, we have been doing quite a bit of kick. Um, I know we have uh, 200 kick efforts every now and then as well. So a bit of back end there too. Oh, wow. Now, is you posted the time in the end. What was your time? 52.07, I believe, was the, was the yeah. fastest time you posted. 
Do you think you could get faster than that? Oh, you know, I was like, I was happy with it, but obviously never satisfied with it because it was so close to 31. So yeah. it'd be awesome when, um, cause we just had two weeks off. So first week back now. So obviously I'm not peak fitness, but when we're back, I'll give it another shot, obviously, and try, try for that 31. Very cool. Now, are you going to the Australian trials? When, when are they? Uh, yeah, the um, open trials. Yeah, they're in um, April next year in Adelaide, or this year now um, mm. in Adelaide. Yeah, okay. so that's also the the Com Game trials. All right. So you 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 training specifically for the two fly, two free for that? You think? Yeah, yeah. More of a focus on the two fly, but um, I have to have a meeting with Luke now to discuss um, you know, new goals for the season. So we'll see where the focus is at. Right. Why why do you have two weeks off now? It seems like an odd time to have it. Yeah, um, we normally have two weeks off um, at the end of December um, every year for Christmas and New Year. Um, so we have our state championships in December and then um, that's our last meet of the year. So then we, we tend to have a break then um, and then just train all the way through until the next December. Um, so yeah, but now next the next two weeks we have a really intensive training block called uh, the two weeks of mayhem we call it. So um training you know three times a day and twice a day and yeah it'll be a really intensive so we'll get that aerobic fitness back up but um yeah it's good to have a break but also it's good to get back into it wow now i guess you're on a different timetable obviously to americans we're in the middle of winter kind of thing right now i got snow outside you're in the middle of summer basically so there's it's uh, yeah. at the beach it's hot uh you're you're in school holidays right now is that true yeah, um, so I've graduated from school, so I'm at okay. university now. So I'm um, okay. coming to my second year at uni. So right. I think that starts in early March. So we get a really big break. Oh, that's a big break. Yeah, what are you mm -hmm. studying? Um, paramedicine, so ambulance. Oh wow! Jeez. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's really, it's really exciting. It's cool. That's exciting for you. I don't think I could stomach it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of gruesome things, but uh, it's cool to learn how to do everything because it's very unpredictable. Yeah. Is that a three-year course? Uh, yeah, full-time. It's three years, but I'm just doing it part-time because it's a bit hard to um, study full-time with swimming as well. So it'll take me out of six years, but I'm not too concerned with that because swimming comes first at the moment. Right. Now, um, how, how many workouts a week are you doing? Um, so typical week looks like nine sessions in the pool and then uh, four sessions in the gym and then me and a couple of the other guys at the pool, um, we do three, uh, two spin sessions as well. So yeah, swim, wow. gym, and spin. Well, it's a pretty standard program, but pretty full on. Swimming, it's just one of those things you, you don't really have a lot of time for anything else because you've got to put so much effort and time into um, the buildup of, of the week and get the work in. So um, yeah, pr pretty crazy. Did you ever think of um, swimming in America at all at, in college? No, I've never thought about it. I mean, I, I think I went to America when I was really young, but I can't remember much about it. Um, but obviously it's very different to Australia. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I haven't ever thought about it. But um, yeah, it could be cool. <laughs> well, yeah, I think uh, it's, it's certainly around that age, that 17, 18 range is where people kind of make that decision. It sounds like you made the decision to stay. You're in a good spot. You're in a happy place. Um, so you know, good luck with everything. <clears throat> We're in the process of trying to figure out how to get the $250 to you. It's uh, it's a little bit difficult uh, in, a, in Australia. We have to, um, uh, Nate has to set up a meeting with the bank manager and then we have to figure out the wire transfer. So it's it's coming. You've earned that $250. Bucks. Um, it's definitely coming your way. So congrats on that. Um, thanks for taking part in it. And thanks for the multiple entries um, and, and good luck with everything, okay? Yeah, thanks. Well, thanks for um, making the, the competition. It was really cool. Yeah, great. Well, um, good luck and we'll catch up with you hopefully after you make the Australian team in April, okay? Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye.